In this video, we'll cover how to place orders in the Market Delta Cloud. First thing you must do is obviously be logged in. And to place a limit order on the dome, hover in the buy column and click anywhere below the best bid to submit a limit order. You can see the order goes in. To submit a limit sell order, click anywhere above the best ask. To place an order at a price that's not visible, scroll up or down using the arrows and then click to place the order. To place a market order from the dome, simply click above the best bid to place a buy order, a buy market. You can see it establishes a long position. And to submit a market sell order, go in the sell column and just click anywhere down below the best ask. You can see that's sold one and I am now flat. Another way to construct the order is using the trade ticket button. Click the button, specify the symbol, and then construct the order based on whether you want it to be a buy or sell, quantity, market limit, stop, stop limit, and specify any of the parameters for these order types. So let's first do a market order. I'm gonna, it's on buy, so I'm going to say buy one market. It disappears, and you can see my positions down here. I bought me one. If I go back up here, click sell, and it's on market, I can sell one market. You can now see my position is zero. Construct a limit order, click limit, specify the price, I'm using the down arrows, and if you want your limit price to follow the bid or follow the ask, you can specify one of these uh, buttons, and you can see that it, my price is moving. So I'm going to click sell one, and it goes in as a limit. If you want to see the order working, you can click the Working Orders tab. There I'm filled. You can see I'm filled here, and I now have a position of short one. To do a buy limit, just select Buy Limit and specify the parameters of the order and submit it. You can see I'm now flat. Submit stop orders from the dome. Simply select stop market or stop limit. I'll choose stop market. Notice how it's depressed. And then I simply go in and select the price that I want to put in the order. So in this case, I want to submit a buy stop. I'm going to select the price and the order goes in. One very important thing to note is you can see that the stop order is now unselected so that if I click anywhere on the dome, it's not submitting stop orders. It would be submitting the normal functionality that you would expect. If I wanted to submit a sell stop, I would click select stop and click the price. And there's my stop order. I'll go ahead and cancel these. If I want to submit a stop limit, it's the same idea. The important thing to note is this would be the price, 83 half would be my trigger, the stop price, and the limit price is by default five ticks away, so five ticks lower. Another way to place orders is from the trade order tabs down below. Anytime you see a position, anytime you see a background color, you can click that and trade. So if I click here, it opens the trade ticket with the opposite order, so I'm short one, so it opens up buy one market, and I can buy one market. You can now see I'm flat. Here in the crude oil, I can click this. This opens sell one market, and now I'm flat. To modify a working order, click the working orders tab at the bottom. Select the pencil icon for the order that you want to modify and that will load up the order in the trade ticket allowing you to adjust the parameters of the order so we can adjust quantity, limit price, or change it from data or to GTC. So if I change the price 
and select buy. It'll adjust the order. Now you can see it working here on the dome and you can see the price here. There are a couple ways to trade from the watch list. First you have to have the watch list viewable and the easy thing to know is any cell that has a background color you can click and trade on it. So you can see I have a positions column and I have a position here in the S&P E-mini. If I click this, it will open up the trade ticket. You can see my position is short to, but it brings the trade ticket up by to market, allowing me to quickly flatten my position, which I'll go ahead and do now. If I wanted to place an order in some other instrument, for instance, the 10-year treasury note, I can either click the bid or the ask, to create an order. So if I click ask, it'll open up a buy order to buy at that ask price. If I selected the bid, it'll bring up a sell order with that price.